people question it at first, but as soon as they see our product, it doesn't look like feces, it doesn't smell like feces. You wouldn't know it was unless we told you. Africa, the percentage is something like 90% of all residents utilize some solid biomass form daily. So that's firewood, that's charcoal, that's pellets. Because of that, deforestation has been a huge problem in Kenya and throughout East Africa. best thing that we can do is not just flush it and forget it. There's actually a lot of resources in human feces that we can make use of. Now people are starting to say, hey, what if? What else can we do? So we started looking at the amount of carbon that's in human feces and realized that the calorific value of human feces is comparable to that of dried firewood there's enough carbon in human feces to almost be a direct substitute. We have probably about 650 toilets in operations. We have people go and service them twice a week and collect these full containers and then take it to our treatment facilities heat treat it and then we combine it with other biomass uh, waste like charcoal dust or sawdust or rose waste like we get here in Naivasha and we can mix those and press that and dry it and we've got a new sustainable product. We call them Makaya Jami, which means charcoal for the family. They burn about twice as long as local charcoal. They have about one third of the emissions, specifically in carbon monoxide and particulates. Beyond all that, for every ton of charcoal of our briquettes that we sell, we save about 88 trees here in Kenya, which is just mind blowing that a simple change can have such a big difference. What has been incredible to me is how many people actually are purchasing our fuel because of the environmental impact. People tell us, they're like, oh wow, saving trees, like that's great. Um, yeah, I'll make the change. We've actually shown that if we could collect all the human waste in Kenya, all the agriculture waste that's not being used for anything else, then we could supply almost 50% of the entire charcoal and firewood demand in Kenya and the deforestation rates would drop substantially. I think the solution we're providing now is a key stepping stone to fixing some of the immediate needs of deforestation. It's, it's really exciting. <laughs>